Masters is of Reddit. How common is it for guys to flirt slash feel up slash ask for favors during a massage sessions? What is the strangest moment you ever experienced? I'm going to give you a serious answer, because the rest are dumb. Any poller is meant for that You are a prostitute not a massage therapist. At an actual spa however, it comes up at times. Shot down quickly by professionals. I tell them to go to the Chinese place down the street, if that is what they want. However, massage therapy is indeed that. Therapy 80% of clients come in due to muscle aches, and not the one down south. Of course it goes through their mind, but spas aren't the place for that. Being a licensed professional, I get offended honestly. Though some people are grimy even in spas, it affects everyone around them. A spa can be raided and shut down. You can get in trouble, if you ask slash give. My suggestion, stick to the parlors, and stay out of the spas, if your intentions are poor. My strangest encounter, I worked at a high-end resort in a casino in Atlantic City. A foreign man kept asking me to guess where he was from. Told him I didn't feel comfortable answering in case I got it wrong. He laughed, answered Iraq, and started to play with himself on my table. I told him he was inappropriate and the session was over, and to get out of my spa, before I call security. I was only 21 when this happened to me, I was definitely upset afterwards. My girlfriend is a massage therapist of 6 years, and I hear all kinds of stories. She works at an average upscale place, not the Ritz, but not the Asian place, and in the last 2 years she has had 2 problems. First was a dude who was literally jacking off in the middle of a session. She didn't notice at first, because he was face down, but when he flipped she could clearly see. She ended the massage, reported him to management, and he lost his membership, and was banned from the place. The more common is the type of person that will test the boundaries to see if the therapist will go there. Most clients state what their problem is before the session like, my back hurts, my legs hurt, my groin hurts, etc. to give the therapist a focal point of the session. Most of these dudes will usually say their groin hurts, which in most cases, is a legit concern, but during the session, will push the boundaries, and say things like, go higher, up higher or start moaning in the session. Those types of guys are trying to be clever sneaky, but even at these upscale places, she knows what the they are doing. She technically can't kick them out, but she will simply end that portion of the massage if she gets uncomfortable and just say f*** the tip and move to a different section of the body. TLDR, my GF knows how to avoid these creepers. It's surprising how often guys will ask for it. I think it's because they feel how powerful my hands are and they know I'm familiar with myself at the very least, so they'll get something out of it. They like me to not talk during because my rich deep tones take them out of the moment. You get guys from all walks of life, some curious beginners and other seasoned veterans. My hands are sometimes chapped and cramped when I come home, tired from all of the hetero flexible closeted businessmen I've taken care of, and I'm unable to service myself most nights as a result. I don't know why it took me so long to realize you were a guy. The more you explained I just imagined a more and more manly woman, until I was at a state of pure confusion. Now it all makes sense. I did the same thing, for whatever reason. Edit, to answer you all, yes my username is a Night Angel trilogy reference. It's funny how everyone on the internet, is a dude, until you get into a thread like this. While in college, I worked at a massage parlor for a couple of months to pay the bills. The experience was pretty jarring, but I got used to it pretty quickly. Most guys were pretty inappropriate and expected favors. I was reluctant at first, but I needed the money, so I had to take the tip. The strangest moment was probably this guy who was at full mast for the duration of the entire massage, and ended up spurting without the happy ending treatment. I still got a pretty big tip at the end of that one. But I needed the money, so I had to take the tip. Yup, nailed it. Massage therapists are trained, licensed, certified. Masseurs has a negative connotation to it, synonymous with There will always be men who feel they can hint at more during a therapeutic session. But how you market yourself, your presentation and your attitude play a part in clients thinking they can test the waters. My most annoying, Thai yoga is one modality that I practice, and the guy who inquired asked if clothes were optional, and was I strong? Was it on a wrestling mat, once again? 
some people will make anything sexual. Long story short, I've been a massage therapist for over 10 years, I have over a 1000 hours of education, but I decided to take a long break, because it can be a draining job at times. It can be a draining job at times. We read you loud and clear. I've been a massage therapist for a bit over a year now and honestly not many men ask for any sort of sexual favor. I've had clients who get hard during the massage, or some guys who just moan, or make grunting noises. I've had guys give me their number and offer to cook me dinner. But, nope can't say it's very common. I work in a professional setting, with memberships and regular clients. If any of the therapists ever feel threatened our company can kick them off the membership, or the manager will sit down with the client in question. But really, I mostly get questions asking if I've ever run into anyone who's been weird or any dangerous situation. I'm not a masseuse, but my mummy's. She does reiki and crystal healing, and that kinda jazz. Here in the UK the social security job center to fellow Brits makes you take any piece of job offered, zero hour contracts, voluntary work you name it, or they stop your payments. So she rocks up to this massage parlor they send her to, they tell her the first client is in 15 minutes. She's a nice lady in her 50s but totally oblivious. Long story short client is a creepy old guy who asks her if she wants to touch his package. She tells him sternly no she doesn't do that sort of thing, and continues with the massage with the scowling passive aggression that only a semi-retired mum of four could muster. Been a massage therapist for a little over two years. Thankfully nothing like that has happened yet, but I do corporate massage, mostly. I did, however have one client who moans the entire time. Telling me how strong my hands are, and how good it feels. It weirds me out a bit, but it's hilarious when the other therapist is also there. As far as guys having an erection, that happens. Massage helps increase blood flow, so it's not that uncommon. Just don't acknowledge it. Equals. <coughs> Former massage therapist, male. It happened all the time. You simply tell them that any further comments and the massage will end. That usually does the trick. If that doesn't work, you know. Donkey punch. As a medical massage therapist, never. I've been in the medical business for 6 years, but before that I did salon slash spa work for 5. I only ever got propositioned when I worked those places and even then it wasn't that often. Mostly because I'm not exactly hot, and I'd given a vibe, or so patients and clients have told me. I had a few scarily dudes, and one female outwardly proposition me. There may have been more subtle attempts throughout the years, but I'm pretty oblivious to most flirtation, it's a flaw. When you work medical you're dealing with people who mostly have acute or chronic pain and injuries so most of them are just happy to get some sort of relief from their injuries, even if it is, just for the time I'm with them. Flirtation and objectification isn't exactly on the menu. The salon and spa atmospheres seem to lend more toward that line of thought being that those are generally perceived and places of pleasure and not healing. I prefer the term massage therapist. Masseurs makes it sound like I would sell f**ks after a nice massage. Well, not very common for guys to feel me up since I don't really let it happen. I don't know how to explain it. When I was still in the field, I usually wore scrubs and ran around with only a pair of flashy socks on my feet, so it wasn't like they could really see any curves on me, and, as a result, I think, the individual was less likely to try anything invasive. However, I was asked by one guy on my table if I offered specials for high-tipping clients. Feigning innocence I responded with a wild specials? What do you mean by that? and kinda run the questions around in circles until he, frustratingly, gave up that line of thought with a never mind, and I happily resumed my massage. I have had a few people get erections, however, it's not something to freak out about, really. Some didn't seem to notice it, or at least they were really good at faking not noticing. I had been taught that massage means increased blood flow to just about each general area right touched. Increased blood flow to the groin usually means erection. So, a nice strong massage to the hips and buttocks means increased blood flow to that area and sometimes results in an erection. The first time I mentally freaked out and casually, while massaging his legs, bunched up the sheet around his groin. I have been a massage therapist for 3 years now in California. 
During that time I have only had two big issues, and then a handful of uncomfortable situations. In the uncomfortable ones it's just guys thinking they are sneaky, by trying to lower the sheet more, or telling me to go higher up on their leg. In those cases I play no nonsense with them and they stop. Twice I have had clients ask for a happy ending, and I tell them it's against the law and my morals. It seems being a white female works in my favor, because my Hispanic and Asian female coworkers have it happen to them way more often. My girlfriend is a massage therapist and, yeah that stuff happens. From time to time guys come in, and try to abuse the fact, that she can't see what they're doing. She's blind, to try to rub one out. Unfortunately for them, she can hear their attempts just fine, and asks them to stop. She has one repeat customer hoss wife ask my girlfriend to give the husband sexual favors since she hated sexual stuff and would rather have somebody else handle it. Of course she declined the offer. The same customer keeps berating my girlfriend for living together with me without being married and me being a filthy heathen. When I used to be a masseur slash beauty therapist I never had anyone ask for favors while doing a massage but had occasionally had phone calls. One time some guy kept leaving messages about do we offer extras, but wouldn't leave his phone number however I found his number on the call list. After the fourth message I bought a local paper, looked up somewhere, that offered the services he was clearly looking for then called him up. The strangest moments I've experienced, were more from other treatments rather than massage. I definitely correct you, and tell you I'm a massage therapist, just because I feel like masseurs has such a bad connotation. My first job was fully of guys who would grab me, or try to take off the sheet, or just straight up ask how much for the sex. It took a pretty big emotional toll, and I actually stopped massaging for like 3 years. The female massage therapist I go to has two signs on her door and wall, that say something to the effect of you will be thrown out, if you make unsexual remarks of any kind and you have to sign a waiver saying you promise not to make any sexual remarks or advances. I'm guessing she had some pretty interesting stories, but I never asked. When I lived in Upland, California, there was a massage parlor across the street from my office, where the staff stood outside in lingerie, entice men to come in for their services. In Nebraska, people are worried about this stigma, so they have one of the most restrictive requirements, to get licensed to do massage here. My high school girlfriend's mother was a professional masseuse. I know she was propositioned from time to time, and resented that people assumed, that doing massage meant she was a hooker. I think it depends where you work. The strangest request I've ever had, was a guy on some sort of drug asking me to rub my feet, while I was working on him. Then there was the pro basketball GM who literally humped the table for an hour. Super fun. I'm an RMT in Eastern Canada. It happens sometimes, but it depends on the work environment. If you're with any kind of actual therapist, you'll be asked to leave promptly, if it's extremely obvious what you are asking for. There are caveats, though, like if someone was coming in who was obviously from another part of the world where sex plus massag was normal the first sign of this behavior would be met with an educational no, not here, anything past this, and a boot out the door and a call to the cops, to report the incident like always. In Canada, we are medical professionals, and trained as such, you won't be getting any happy endings, unless you go to someone who, well, isn't a proper therapist. I've always been told that massage therapists are professionals and masseuses are prostitutes. So there's that. Yeah. Well, they do basically the same thing, but one of them spent a laughable amount of money for a meaningless title, to go along with the job, and the other makes a ton more money. LMT are understandably pissed off about all of this, but most of them won't admit why it really irks them, 